Hello, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Jessica and we are going to be working on improving our posture today. This is a no equipment workout except for your chair. We will be completely seated today. We're gonna be using a blend of stretching and strengthening exercises to release tension improve posture and strength through that upper body. Go ahead, grab your chair, double check that you are subscribed to the channel, and we're gonna get started right now. Beautiful, let's get going here. We're gonna start with a really simple breathing exercise. And what I would like you to do is just make sure your spine is aligned nice and straight from the top of the head all the way down so looking for diving forward in the chest slouching back bring yourself to as much of a straight spine as you can comfortably and from there hands come to the lap shoulders relax dropping away from the ears taking a good deep breath in and release that on out. Now I want you to take another good deep breath in and check and make sure you're not breathing really high up into the shoulders. Watching those shoulders rise on up, building tension through the neck and then exhale, let that go. And same thing opposite, breathing in really deep and making sure that that breath isn't coming really down far into the low belly. We want to expand the rib cage opening and closing hopefully equally through the front sides and back of the rib cage. Do not underestimate how much proper breathing plays a role in your posture, spine, hip, and pretty much all of your joint health. Few more here just like that. One more, good breath in. and release great job we're going to drop the chin just a bit and push the head back release and same thing push the head back small muscles back here these cervical extensors we still want them nice and strong the body it's called the kinetic chain. One thing goes off in the chain and it affects everything else. So we're gonna start here with these neck muscles. Make sure that you're not feeling tension or movement in the shoulders. Tuck it back. Really gentle way to start here today. Just imagine moving that chin back a little bit, staying in that tucked position. Hold it there and release. Let's roll the shoulders up and back a few times here. Connect with those upper back muscles and at the same time, rolling the shoulders back, feeling the shoulder blades squeezing together, really tightening up through these muscles will help bring the body up and back and help open through the shoulders. So if you tend to slouch, great way to correct that forward slouching neck hump posture. Does not feel good to live there. Also doesn't give us that nice tall lean look that most of us are hoping for. Roll it here. Again, focus on drawing up, back, and squeezing the shoulder blades together on the spine. Go with what feels good and challenging for your body. Don't force yourself into more than what your body is ready for here today. Small improvements will add up in time. You have to have patience. Last one here. Great job. Ease that on down. We're gonna go ahead, send this left arm out to the side, turn the body slightly to the right. And we're gonna raise that left arm up off at a diagonal angle. Stretching open through those chest muscles. They get really tight. Make sure that the belly isn't diving forward here. Keep it tucked. 
can see I'm taking my gaze slightly down just to release tension from the neck. Take that one on down. Same thing here, other side. Open the right arm. Turn the body to the left. And then raise that arm about halfway between T position and overhead. Release that one on down. Great job, great chest stretch there. Really beautiful opener. Release those hands to the bottom, send them back. And rather than diving the chest forward, grow the chest tall, take the fingertips and see how far underneath the seat you can reach. Again, opening the front body, core muscles help hold in and support through that low back spine here. Release that on down. Great job, give everything. Little soft wiggle there, let some life come back into it. We're gonna bring those arms out here to a T position. And what I really want you to watch for is this movement through the spine. I'm exaggerating it. The chances are it'll probably be pretty small, but I really want you to feel for rocking in the hips. We wanna avoid that. Your pelvis has a big role to play in spine health and how your body feels. We wanna minimize movement through there. All right, T position, thumbs rotate up and back, and then squeeze back without losing those hips. Roll it forward and over. And then again, thumbs rotate back, squeeze. And what I would like you to feel for here is those shoulder blades, the scapula coming together, almost like you were gonna squeeze a finger or a pencil in between them on the back. So you're drawing the shoulder blades together and releasing. Smooth and steady here, hold and release. Don't rush through that work. Going slow is also gonna give you the chance to really watch your form here. Beautiful job. Little bit of a chest stretch here. Open that body. Engage those back muscles. Take a few more here. Good, feel for those hips and through the rib cage. Not letting anything roll forward or back. Last one here, give it a good squeeze. Release that on down, great job there. We're gonna continue opening up the front body as we work to strengthen and increase tension in the back of the body, tension in a good way. Step it to the right side just a bit so this left arm is able to move. We're gonna take nice big circles back here. We don't wanna be going with the arm because we want to stretch through that front shoulder there. Just make a circle as big as you can comfortably. As you go here, you may find a little more freedom in the movement. And once that freedom opens up, you can move a little bit bigger. Don't force it. Keep that body safe. Feeling a little bit of work in those shoulders is normal. It is working here, but there should be no pain. Last one here. Great, yeah, give that arm a little bit of a shake. And then we're gonna take the same thing, opposite side. So step off to that left side just a little bit. That way there's nothing in your way here as you move this right arm all the way up and back. Nice, smooth circles. One side may be tighter than the other, normal. Watch for movement through the hips or 
with a rib cage. Last one here. Great job, bring it back forward and place your back to the back of the chair and we're gonna send the palms forward. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the palms forward, feel the back stretch open so you're not leaving the back of your chair. I want that connection of the spine to the back of your chair. Pull the shoulders back and forward. So I'm not bending my arms. I'm gonna to turn to the side just so you can see what we've got going on. Shoulders back, press and push forward. If it's not perfect, that's okay. Again, we're moving those scapula. We're coming into protraction and really emphasizing the retraction, pulling back, strengthening those muscles to bring the body into that good posture form. This can be a little tricky to find sometimes. You might feel just a little stuck if everything back there is not used to working or if things in the front are real tight. Keep practicing it because it, you will find it, I promise. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't happen right away. Straight forward and back. Good, you can let the fingertips go once you find it. Good shoulder work here, if nothing else. Reaching forward, pulling back, so you're not lifting from the waist. Just a reminder. Last one here. Open those arms out to the sides. Stretch those thumbs back without pushing the stomach or rib cage forward. Feel the back connecting to the back of your chair. Just making sure it's all in good placement there. Lower it down. We haven't been doing crazy intense exercises, but do not be surprised if those arms start feeling just a little tired or fatigued. A little bit more here to go. Let's work together. Open those arms back out, T position. And you're gonna give me a nice draw in, working the elbows as close to the sides as you can, opening back out. So we're going from a T to a W. Now imagine those shoulder blades squeezing in and down. So feeling for this movement here, on the back with those shoulder blades. Again, if it's tricky to find, hang in here. Keep practicing the movement. Sometimes it takes a dozen times of doing it wrong and then you hit that one and you're like, oh, there it is, it's right there. Great job. So imagine you had something here and you're pulling it down and in. This is no equipment workout, but it's not passive work into those muscles. At the same time, try to draw and expand the spine tall as those elbows come down and in, not stomach pushing forward. Really wanna keep your low back safe here. The goal today is to get all of these upper back muscles working and engaging in ways that they are supposed to, taking all of that extra work that your low back is having to do away from it. So if you have a lot of chronic back pain or tension, a lot of times that's because it's just working too much. It's doing stuff it's not supposed to do. We want to strengthen these upper back muscles, correct that posture, and take all the extra work off the plate of the low back and give it back to these upper back muscles. Great job here. Last one. Beautiful. Drop those hands down behind you. Now you can grab the back of the chair and wiggle those hips forward. Spine leaves back chair. Roll the shoulders up and back. 
stretch tall, and then just lean forward slightly, keeping those shoulders back. Nice stretch here through the front. That may be enough for some of us, and some of us may need just a little bit bigger movement to find that stretch. So if you're there and you're not feeling much, interlace those fingers behind you. You can turn to the side, roll those shoulders up and back, lean it forward, and lift the hands as much as needed. You'll notice that my spine is in a nice straight line here, so I'm not diving and arching forward, not dropping the neck. Good. Little bit of movement if it feels good. Always optional. Release that on down. Give it a good little shake. Let's take these hands here to the front. And again, you're gonna give me a thumbs up. Turn them out to the sides. Elbows stay touching the body. Squeeze them in. Hands come parallel to the thighs. Work them open. Squeeze and release so you'll notice that the collarbone broadens here again you're going to feel the scapula big big shoulder blades roll together feel a little bit of a squeeze there in the middle back in between them that's a good thing those muscles are working they're waking up slow here so you can watch for that push forward, you want to avoid that. Nice and easy. As you get stronger, you can do this with a band. Doesn't take much to make it really challenging. These are your external rotators through the shoulder. Two of these muscles are half of the rotator cuff. So really important to keep these ones nice and strong, leading to good shoulder mobility, good rotator cuff stability, a little bit less shoulder pain because all of those muscles are working in the ways that they should and nobody's having to take on extra work. Really important. and then come back to it, engage those muscles, make sure those elbows are in and you're squeezing really important. Otherwise, those bigger, stronger muscles like to take over. And then these littler muscles don't get the work that they should. Good, release those hands down towards the floor. And again, grow the spine nice and tall. We're gonna inhale, take these arms up overhead. Chest stretch here, exhale, cactus arms, pull those elbows down and back. Release, come on back up. Two more times here. Last time. Job here, ease it on down. Couple shoulder rolls here, feel good. And then we'll release that on down. Give it all a little shake. We're gonna take these arms up here, goal post arms, and then stretch them out to a Y position. So again, we're kind of going off in that diagonal movement, and you're gonna press those arms back. Watching out here, not just for flaring open the front of the torso, rib cage, or hip area. We also want to watch that we don't start using these upper neck muscles. If you carry a lot of tension and tightness through this area here, upper traps, levator scapula, a lot of times they really want to take over. We want to avoid that. So again, Feel for those shoulder blades coming in and slightly down. It's actually a little more of a tipping, so it may be a little bit of that movement there. Great job. Don't push yourself into a bigger movement. Focus on small movement, engaging with the work. 
This is not a large range of motion exercise. Great job here. Get tired quick, it's okay. So just imagine pushing the hand back. Good, I'm feeling myself start to roll forward in my hips. My posture, I really like that forward hip roll, so I have to pay a lot of attention to keep it back. You can lean against the back of your chair if it helps you bring more awareness. So if you feel that low back, leave the back of your chair. It's kind of a cheat to find out if it's moving away from you there. Feel these muscles working. You're doing such a great job. Blending together that chest stretch with that back work. Release it on down. Arms, definitely feeling that one. Give them a little love, a little bit of a break if you need it. We're gonna take a stretch here just to break up some of the work, but we are almost done. The end is in sight. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Let those hands come to the lap, and you're gonna slide them back where you can feel everything relax. A lot of times once the hands connect to something, we have a really easy time letting go. Right ear to right shoulder. Great job here, nice. Opening stretch through here. Those are those neck tension and tightness muscles. Bring the head back up, keeping this left shoulder, encourage it to come back. And then we're just gonna look over the right shoulder again, stretching a little more through the front, back to the center. Two more times there at your own pace. have time. Don't rush, especially if this feels good. Release. Oh, beautiful. Left ear to left shoulder. Keep the right shoulder from popping up. Great place to close your eyes and practice breathing through the rib cage. Chin comes back to the center and we're gonna look over the left shoulder, encouraging the right one to stay back into place. Two more times. And back to the center, great job. Give it a little wiggle and let's go ahead Again, connect your spine to the back of your chair. Reach those arms as straight up as you can and pulse those hands back. Good. So not using that low back spine to get more movement through the arms here. Really tempting for those neck muscles to start taking over. Make sure the shoulders stay down. Even if you need to bend the hands a little bit as you get more familiar with this movement, that's okay. I'd rather lose just a touch of the work than to start having more neck tension built up. Great job here. Again, this is not a movement with a large range of motion. It's gonna be pretty small, especially as you're building strength. Don't start doing weird stuff in the body to force movement, sending the neck and chin forward. It's so tempting. The body likes to find the path of least resistance. How can I do this and save myself as much work as possible, but we're not here to avoid work. So start small, 
Use those muscles. Don't let the body figure out a way to cheat. Beautiful. Last one here. Bring those arms on down. Great job. All right, give it all a little wiggle. You're gonna take those arms up overhead and you can interlace the fingers here if you have sensitivity through the hand or finger joints. Maybe just touch the fingertips up and together, wherever works for you. Stretch the body tall and open. On this one, you can give me a little bit of rib cage opening, getting into the core a little bit there. Lean it off side to side. Beautiful. Back to the center, drop the right arm. Left hand comes over the top of it. Close the rib cage and gently guide those arms back. You can rest to the back of your chair if it helps with better form, better posture in this movement. Release, shake them out. They definitely feel heavy. Left arm comes up. Right arm on top and just gently guide them back overhead. They might not go far today. If you've got a lot of front body tightness, it can be stubborn. It likes to stick a little bit. Bring it on down. Give it a little shake. Okay. We have two more stretches and the good news is they do not involve your upper body. Your upper body is done. You're stretched out, you activated some of those muscles that we need to increase strength in to be able to not just find our good posture, but actually hold it. But like I said at the beginning of this video, the way that your hips and your pelvis is positioned has a lot to do with your posture and how your whole entire body feels. Your pelvis is really the connection point between upper and lower body. Any type of off movement in there or tilting or swaying forward back can really affect how the rest of your body feels. Long explanation here, but we're gonna go ahead and get into this stretch. Step the right foot forward, left foot is going to go ahead and stretch on back. And what I want you to try to do is extend that leg back and you can lean forward a little bit if it helps you find it. And you should have a nice stretch right here through the front. So a lot of those hip flexors get really tight and they start tilting the pelvis and that really aggravates the low back here. So again, if you need to, you can just start here in this dropped knee position. If they're crazy tight, finding that nice gentle pull right here on the front of the left leg might be enough. If you're here, don't feel much, step it back. Press that leg back, lengthening that area just a bit more. Good. Releasing those front muscles that tilt and pull the front of the pelvis down and forward. Gonna give this a few more seconds here. These ones can be pretty stubborn. Release that, step it back in. And right away, we're gonna give a nice counter stretch to that low back. So we're gonna bring ourselves on up and roll it forward. Forearms can hit the thighs, or if it feels good, you can stretch and reach down towards the floor. <laughs> bring it back up and let's turn it off here. Step the left foot over to that left side. If you sit a lot or if you have a lot of low back tension, start here with that right knee under the hip and just see if straightening up a little bit increases a little bit of a pull there. Light stretch, not an area where you wanna just start getting crazy. If you don't have any stretch, send that leg back and then go ahead here, look for that stretch. You can lean forward so you're not bending so much into the low back. Nice and easy here, support yourself on the thigh or with the chair. A few more. 
more seconds here. Good. Gently release that back in. Same thing here. Bring it forward if needed. And we're going to go ahead, bring ourselves on up. And then exhale. Ease it forward. Just getting the back into more of this flexed position. Wiggle it all out if needed, and then go ahead, bring yourself back to the front of your chair. My favorite way to end a workout, good deep breath in, and then soften your body, release tension as you release that breath. Thank you so much for joining me for today's workout, a really great way to stretch and strengthen the body, hopefully leading to better posture, which will hopefully lead you to less pain and irritation in your daily movements, sleeping, all of the things. So I do really applaud you for putting your health first and making it a priority today. Thank you for choosing me to help you accomplish all of your goals. I will have more workouts for you guys, Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Easier to find those if you are subscribed to the channel. So always free to click that button before you head out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed and I will definitely see you guys for the next workout.